Hello everyone and welcome to Nate Teaches English. In today's lesson, we're going to be learning about the simple present. First, we're going to review over singular versus plural and all the different ways that we can do that. So we have the singular form, which would be I, you, he, she, or it. Singular meaning only one. Plural, we have meaning of more than one. So that would be like we, you all, and they. So now let's break down first person, second person, and third person. For first person singular, we're talking about I, or me, myself. Um, in the plural form, we have it as we. So this would be more than one. So singular, just myself. Plural, meaning myself and another person at least one more person. For the second person, we have you. Now, when I say you, I'm talking directly to someone, directly to one person for you. If I'm speaking to, to one or to more than one person, I'm going to say you all. So that would be if I'm speaking to two people directly, I would be using you all as the plural form of you. Then for the third person, we have in singular, this could be he, she, or it. It meaning like an animal or an object. It's not a male or a female, it would just be it. So for singular, in the third person form, we have he, she, and it. For the plural form, in the third person, we have they. Now, let's review the simple present. For first person singular, we have I am. Um, in first person plural, we have we are. So I am, we could say I am a teacher. And we could say for we are, we are people. And second person, we have you. So I'm talking directly to somebody. You are, so I would say you are a student in this case, or if there are more than one, I would say you all are students. Then for the third person singular, we have he, she, or it. For those, you're gonna say is, so he, she, it, is. And then for the plural form, they have, we have they. So they, meaning more than one man, more than one woman, more than two objects or a combination of all of those. It could be a man and a woman. Um, we're gonna use they for the plural form for our. Now, notice that we use our quite a bit. We use our for second person singular. We use our for first person plural, second person plural, and third person plural. The only time we're not going to use are is when we're talking about the first person singular and the third person singular. So let's do some example activities here. Number one says, I, a man. I am a man. I, meaning myself, so we're gonna use am, and then to finish the sentence, a man. Number two, you, a student. All right, I think we said this earlier, but yes, you are a student. Are, we're using most of the time, unless it's first person or third person singular. So third person singular, we just said it's not gonna be R because it's third person singular. She, a woman. He is a woman. Now we're going into the plural form. So third person plural, we, people, Are. We are people. Next, you all. So meaning I'm talking to somebody 
and another person. So the plural form, I'm talking to a plural form of people directly. You all, students. You all are students. And the last one, they, teachers. They are teachers. So as you can see, a quick recap of our simple present. Thank you.